We got a new RDC World skit, my guys, man. Shout out to these people, bro. The the first person to make a podcast. Let's get to it, man. It's finished. I think I'll call it podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll express all my feelings and my thoughts. I'll get a partner and we just like bounce all of our, you know, random opinions and back and forth. Everybody got like podcasts now. I ain't mad at it. Uh, how do I distribute it? I could, you know. I ain't gonna lie to you. Not everybody got a podcast now. I'm not mad at it because have you been seeing the bags niggas is getting? Hmm? For some reason, the biggest bags are only going to white podcasts, and that's not even like hyperbole. I'm dead serious. If you go look at the biggest thing, they're all, it's like six white. There's no color at all, but <laughs> I kind of saw that one coming. But yeah, that's it. And it wouldn't surprise me if it was a black person that infected it. RDC might have hit, might have went deeper than they thought. Then, you feel me? Uh, how do I distribute it? I could, you know. Uh, people listen on the way to work. I put on the internet. I put on the internet. And a lot of people will be able to listen to Please. it. Please. Please don't do this. How are you here? I'm from the future. <laughs> and in the future, this podcast you're making is going to ruin everything. <laughs> Everybody will be sharing their opinions on everything. Oh, my God. Now nah, they about to cook. I already see they about to cook. This about to be one of those smart skits. That are hilarious. This is why to me, RDC World are the best, right? They transcend to me YouTube humor, which I feel like a lot of people who are like YouTube comedians, I don't even know if you call them that, skit makers. Their, their humor is very tailored to, it almost feels like younger people. And it's also tailored to like unfunny people, I guess. But the RDC world, when they make skits and stuff, it really be covering big themes. It just happens to be hilarious. And those are the best comedians. That's what Dave Chappelle does. That's what someone like George Carlin does. And I see them leaning more and more to, they've always been like this though, where they handle issues of race and stuff like that. And some of y'all don't even realize that's what they're doing. But when they're like, oh, uh, how you know niggas about to fight? That's covering, if you really, maybe you don't catch it unless you, but it's like, yeah, these, I, Anyway, that's enough. They, they're cooking. They're cooking. They're it's going to ruin everything. Everybody will be sharing their opinions on everything. Facts. Smart people, dumb people. We Facts. won't be able to tell who's smart anymore. Yeah. They'll, 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 they'll <laughs> share their opinion anyway. Facts will cease to exist. And there will be men talking about their high value men. There will be women talking about high value women. And everybody's relationship grew. And then and then 50 50. And then we'll just go 50 50. So the man go 50 50. So the women. 50 50. Oh, yeah. Now, what I will say is. The what the internet did was give a voice to everybody, right? And I think what has failed to happen is we stop using like deducive reasoning or we stop questioning why am I listening to this person? Do they have any authority on the, the thing they're speaking of? Any knowledge on the thing they're speaking of? Is this cre is this clip created so I could get mad and interact with this? Which let me tell you something. 99% of those podcast clips that you see like floating around, it'll be on World Star, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram are fake. Those are fake. Those ones that just be the low skip, those are fake. Those are literally not even real podcasts. They're just doing that for engagement. Half of the time, they started out as skits and got so much hate engagement that they became actual podcasts. So it's like, <laughs> I think it's the easiest time to trick people right now. And I, and it's, it's crazy. Cause I feel like with TV, like with television, we all grew up with TV for long enough to know when we're being advertised, right? We know when something is advertising to us. We could even watch like in movies and see product placement and we get it. For some reason, let me get a, a full ISO screen. For some reason, when it comes to the internet, people don't know when they're being uh, promoted to. And that's crazy. They just don't know when they're being sold something. It's it's weird, too. Like, if if you put the same thing on a television screen, niggas be like, oh, they just trying to sell me their podcast. I ain't even about to click on this dumb thing. They just trying to get me angry to click it. Or, oh, this is an ad, because they have ad breaks. But you do the same exact thing on the internet, and they be like, oh my God, this must be real. I've never, no, I've never met this person. I don't know this person. This is the first time I've ever heard them talk, but I, I think they're real. <laughs> Please, I'm, I'm begging you, don't do this. It'll mess up the black community the most. And you're black, I'm black, okay? I told you. 
So don't make this. I told you. What you're telling maybe me? Maybe covering is. topics. I'm gonna be rich. No, actually, no. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this ending with a fight scene is not what I thought, but I love it. <laughs> you can tell they didn't know how to end this with a fight, nigga. We finna bang, nigga. We finna bang. <laughs> 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 ain't never played sport for that in their life. Oh, they're cooking. It ain't even violated. Cooking. That's not my problem. I've been promoted. Nigga, son of a bitch, Marcus. Now hold yourself accountable. That's true. Damn, nah, this is a, this is, this is low key a very intelligent skit. Like, because he's even, the other dude's even coming with the juxtaposition. The person who created the podcast is saying that, nah, y'all should hold yourselves to account, uh, accountable, which is something I always say, like, as time goes on, human beings, we always like to blame the tool and not the worker. Right. So, for instance, every 10 years, there's a new thing that comes up and people say that that's the problem. Right. Radio came and niggas thought that was going to end the world. Um, yeah. They, religion came and they thought, well, we can start with radio. Then television came and they thought that that was going to destroy radio. Video killed the radio star and television was going to destroy the earth. Then the Internet came and they thought the Internet was going to destroy the earth. Y2K, all of that. Then social media came, now social media. We blame things that we've always done on the tool so we don't have to blame ourselves. Do you believe that there are people right now who are convinced that clout chasing just started? That selling sex just started? There are people who are convinced this generation, no, bro. This is an example of things we've always done since humankind has been invented. There has been people who've done stuff for attention. Since humankind invented, there's been people who've been using sex to sell things. So no, we didn't create any of these problems. And if we keep acting like this generation created it, we're never going to get to the actual solution. And when you get a rant from me like that from a skit, you know it's a good skit. The day we start saying, why are we Your flawed? Is gonna have to live this. That's when we'll win. I hope you know what you're doing. Fuck those kids. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I feel at you. It was on you. Yo, bro, what's good? Nah, I'm chilling, chilling. Hey, you trying to put this podcast with me? Nah, it's this thing where we just like talk to each other, you know, in front of the camera. We just, you know, talk about all your opinions and stuff, you know, relationship advice that you've been through. Yeah, how about you, Mr. Tony Yeah. Oh my God, RDC, that was. <laughs> this is this is what I've been saying. We love to blame the hammer and not the carpenter. That's what humans do because we can't just go, yo. Why do we? Why are we so susceptible to for of sex? Why does that work so? Instead of saying, why do people use it? To do it, why don't we go, like, because people blame OnlyFans for that. Instead of doing that, why don't we blame, why don't we question, why does this keep working, though? Who's the crazy one? The one that saw something that works and did it, or the one who's mad at it working on them, but it continues to work on them? Oh, I'm dropping too many bars right here. I already see y'all cook that.